Welcome to an exciting exploration of the Philippines' most ambitious and groundbreaking endeavors. In today's video, we delve into the realm of progress and innovation as we uncover the top 11 ongoing and completed mega-projects in the Philippines. From cutting-edge infrastructure developments to awe-inspiring architectural marvels, join us on a virtual tour of the nation's transformative initiatives that are shaping the future. Get ready to be amazed by the scale, ingenuity, and impact of these projects that are leaving an indelible mark on the landscape of the Philippines. Whether you're a local enthusiast or a global observer, this video promises to showcase the nation's commitment to growth and development. So, without further ado, let's embark on this journey. Welcome back to Just Know It 254, before we continue, please subscribe to this channel, I promise you will have the best videos and I will make them so interesting for you to watch and learn, please subscribe. Number 11, New Manila International Airport. The New Manila International Airport is the Philippines' greatest infrastructure project. Beulah Kin will be the site of a new international airport. The airport is expected to handle 100 million passengers per year. The airport will feature four runways and will be built on a 2,500 hectare location. It is estimated to generate up to 1.2 million construction jobs and 100,000 permanent employments once it's operating. The project is expected to cost 740 billion Philippine peso. Number 10, Manila Metro Line 9. Manila Metro Line 9 is a proposed mass transport line planned for Manila. The line will go from the city's business area to Ninoy Aquino International Airport, Naya. The route will be 24 kilometers long with 13 stops along the way. It will handle up to 1.2 million people every day. The Dutier is in charge of building the line while the LRMC will run and maintain it once it is completed. Number 9, Malolos Clark Airport Clark Green City Rail. The Malolos Clark Airport Clark Green City Rail will connect the Malolos Clark Airport to Clark Green City. The railway is projected to support regional economic growth. The route will be 39 kilometers long with 9 stops. It will carry up to 1 million people every day. The Dutier is in charge of building the line while the PNR will run and maintain it once it is completed. Number 8, PNR Long Haul. The Philippine National Railways PNR Long Haul Project aims to repair and extend the Philippine National Railways lines. The project entails the building of new lines as well as the improvement of existing lines. The project will be carried out in three stages. The first phase will entail the renovation of existing PNR lines. The building of additional lines such as the North-South Commuter Railway, NS Cigar, and the Metro Manila Subway will be part of Phase 2. Phase 3 will include the upgrade of existing lines such as the PNR South and North lines. The project's entire cost is anticipated to be 100 billion Philippine peso. Number 7, Bohol Lady Link Bridge. The new Bohol Lady Link Bridge will connect the islands of Bohol and Leyte. The bridge will likely increase tourism and trade between the two islands. The bridge will be 2.1 kilometers long with a 50 meter clearance. It will be capable of transporting up to 2,000 automobiles each hour. The Department of Public Works and Highways DPH is in charge of the project. Number 6, Cavita Laguna Expressway, CLAX. The Cavita Laguna Expressway is a new freeway connecting Cavita and Laguna. The highway is designed to alleviate traffic congestion in the surrounding area. The highway will be 44.6 kilometers long with 10 interchanges. It has the capacity to transport up to 100,000 automobiles each day. Cavitex Infrastructure Corporation CIC is in charge of the project. Number 5, South Luzon Expressway Extension, SLEX. The South Luzon Expressway expansion will link SLEX with CLAX. The 13.4-kilometer expansion will include two interchanges. It will be capable of transporting up to 50,000 automobiles each day. The Department of Public Works and Highways DPH is in charge of the project. 
Number 4, Subic Clark Tarlac Expressway. The Subic Bay Clark Tarlac Expressway connects the Subic Bay Freeport Zone to the Clark Freeport Zone. The highway is projected to assist regional economic growth. The freeway spans 93.7 kilometers and features 13 interchanges. It has the capacity to transport up to 100,000 automobiles each day. The Department of Public Works and Highways DPH is in charge of the project. Number 3 Davo City Bypass Road The Davo City Bypass Road will be a new bypass road in Davo City. The motorway is anticipated to relieve city traffic congestion. The highway will be 18.3 kilometers long with four interchanges. It will be capable of transporting up to 50,000 automobiles each day. The Department of Public Works and Highways DPH is in charge of the project. Number 2, Panguil Bay Bridge. The Panguil Bay Bridge is a new bridge that will be built across the Panguil Bay. The bridge is expected to boost economic development in the region. The bridge will be 5.4 kilometers long and will have a clearance of 50 meters. It is expected to carry up to 2,000 vehicles per hour. The project is being undertaken by the Department of Public Works and Highways DPH. Number 1, Mactan Cebu International Airport. The Mactan Cebu International Airport is a major international airport in Cebu. The airport is currently undergoing a major expansion. The expansion project will include the construction of a new passenger terminal, a new runway, and a new cargo terminal. The project is expected to cost 17 billion Philippine peso. The expansion project is expected to increase the airport's capacity to handle 20 million passengers per year. It is also expected to boost tourism in Cebu and the Visayas region. That marks the end of this video. What do you think about the infrastructure of Philippines? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Also, subscribe to Just Know It 254 so that you don't miss out on any of our interesting videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.